how to set up your gutters. There's a lot of information on how to draw, but there's not too much information on how to set up your paper. I'm talking trim, bleed, gutters, all that stuff. After a bunch of research, this is what I've compiled to be some sort of pseudo industry standard because it sticks to the proportions of a standard American comic book. I didn't come up with these proportions. I lifted it off of Eric Larson. The first thing you're going to need is a light box or a window. This is the template I've been making every single page of Arsenal with. The live area has been divided into halves, quarters, and thirds, both vertically and horizontally. This is an 18 by 24 split in half, a Canson Biggie sketch, if I'm not mistaken. And your thumbnails. The Bristol board itself is 11 by 17 inches. The trim represents the edge of your actual comic book art page, which is 10 by 15. The section known as the live area, which is 9 inches by 13.5 inches, is what holds all your art as well as your words. I like the look of narrow gutters, so I keep them about an eighth of an inch wide, but that's an artistic choice more than anything. There are almost no rules when it comes to comics. That's what makes them so much fun. Remember to measure twice and cut once. The straighter these lines are, the better, especially if you do your own lettering. It'll be much easier to line up your aims guide if all your lines are parallel and perpendicular to one another. If you ever have one of those days where you're entirely burned out and can't do anything creative, you can always line some pages. Making comics can be quite a chaotic process. I find this to be a break from all that. Mm, that's a good looking page. Let's get to work. 